today I'm going to uh, show you how to use the machine. First, we're going to turn it on uh, and we're going to run a vacuum test. Quite simply on the side, turn the machine on. It'll go to the main screen. Uh, disregard where it says fill water, that's only because it needs water inside the tank. So once it's got water, that will just be. So what we need to do is either go up or down, it doesn't really matter. Uh, go to user, press OK. You have a series of cycles. So this particular machine is a B class and S class, which gives us the opportunity to do any of these cycles. However, we want to go to uh, vacuum. So it's number nine. Uh, we press OK. And then it's obviously asking to fill water, but if that wasn't there, we'd press play or start and it starts. Okay, and that'll run for approximately 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, once that's done, uh, it'll give us a printout through here to say it's been completed and you'll hear the lock uh, disengage, which then allows you to open the door. All right, so <clears throat> after we run a vacuum, what we want to do is run a helix test or bowie deck. So essentially what this is, is running a PCR test uh, to make sure the machine's actually doing what it's supposed to do, right? It's a requirement from uh, European standards and, and Australian standards. So we go back into, again, disregard that where it says water because it's got no water in it. Uh, go to user. Um, just to make a note, we always want run a vacuum first before the helix. If you do the helix uh, and then the vacuum, it won't allow you to do a vacuum test because the chamber is too hot. So make sure you run a vacuum first <clears throat> and then you run a helix. Again, we can go down, but I tend to go up because it's got this one a bit quicker. So user menu, we go back up and then on number eight, it's a B and D helix. Okay, and we press start again. Uh, disregard the please fill with water because that's not there. Right, so once we've uh, run a vacuum and a helix, now it's uh, time to run cycles. Uh, you only have to run a helix and a vacuum once a day and you can run as many cycles as you need to. <clears throat> Again, to run cycles, you go to user. Uh, then you select the appropriate cycle that you want to run. Solid cycle is for anything that's solid. So essentially, uh, instruments that are solid, you, you'd run the, the solid cycle. Porous is anything that's porous, masks, um, uh, rags, or anything like that, you can run it under that one. And number three is hollow instruments. So any, any cannula or hollow instruments, you must run the hollow cycle. Uh, so if, let's just say we choose solid. Again, with this machine, it's okay and start. Again, if it's got water, that won't show up. So once you push the start button, it'll automatically trigger and off she goes. Okay, yeah, this uh, autoclave has got its internal waste uh, for obviously internal wastewater and clean water. So when the machine prompts you to empty the water or to add water, as it says here, you add it through the top, uh, to empty out the wastewater, you get one of these uh, supplied with your machine, goes into the into the slot here and turns to the left once that turns to the left it will automatically start draining out so we recommend that you either put it into a sink or in some locations if you don't have that um, access just into a bucket and that's fine uh, once you do that the water's drained and you just twist it back to the right and out uh, another step uh, which we need to do on these once a week is to check inside the machine. I've already taken the trays out, but what we do is check the drain uh, filter in the back. So essentially what we have to do is go in, There's a, you'll see a, a little butterfly type uh, connection. It unscrews to the left. So if we take this out, and as you can see, it's got a mesh there, so it'll stop any um, paper or any debris going into the valves. This can be easily cleaned uh, just running under cold water, so just under then a little bit of a scrub if need be. Once that's um, um, finished, put it back in and we screw that to the right. And you don't need to over tighten this either, just a little bit. If you over tighten it, then it's hard to get off. Uh, once we've got that, then we finish. That allows the water to drain. If we don't uh, clean that, weekly we might get a deposit of water in there and the machine might might uh, throw a code to fail so once a week clean that under cold water 
Another uh, part of maintenance for the machine, which is quite easy to do, um, once a, a week or fortnight, if you see it's got a bit of a bit of a residue inside, just get a damp cloth and wipe the inside of that. Uh, and if you can, wipe the the door seal as well and around the sides here. Uh, that just allows for the door seal to penetrate correctly uh, and to stop any vacuum leaks or leaks that may occur. Another thing we'll find as well depending on your location, every three to six months, uh, we need to change the bacterial filter. Uh, some places can last longer than that. However, take note, if the filter turns black, that needs to be changed. Uh, if we don't change that, it will it will affect the efficiency of the machine. Um, so door seal, inside wipe, uh, and bacterial filter.